Hey guys. Uh, so I got my traps all built. I'm going to try to add a link to where I got them, what I paid for them, and uh, how to put them together out there. So we're putting them out, and uh, I want to introduce you to my friend Rachel. She's going to help me get the traps out. So follow along. We'll put those out. Incidentally, tell us a little about, about yourself. Um, what do you do? Where are you from? All right. My name is Rachel. I'm from California originally. I live here in Florida temporarily. I'm about to move to Australia. Um, I have my own YouTube channel. I do a bunch of weird videos and challenges and stuff with my friends and sometimes by myself. Um, so we'll post a link to that if we can figure it out. <laughs> yeah, if I can figure out how to do it. I'm kind of a noob to YouTube. so. And, uh, and, and if you subscribe to my channel, subscribe to her. Help us bring you more of these. Uh, that would be great. We'd really enjoy that. But uh, yeah, check out her channel. She does a lot of challenges with some weird twists at the ends. I went to her channel and watched a bunch of her stuff. It's She's kooky. It's fun. <laughs> Enjoy it. All right, we're going to get these things out and then uh, pull them another time and check back with you. time now. Good eye. And there it goes. It's dropping. There it is. There's the edge. That's what we're looking for. Yep. So let's uh, let's rig up some traps and throw them in. I'm going to put a couple here and a couple more up the river. I hate to bunch them in one spot because people mess with them and or steal them. Steal a whole trap or steal your crab. So see it's coming back up. So there's a little channel there. If we can move back this way, we'll fall off again. So let's rake the traps and get them going. Okay. Well, what we're going to put in our stone crab traps is mullets. So what we're going to fillet, just fillet them. Uh, not totally off. Just, just take the meat off the carcass. So Rachel's going to do that for us. I've never done this before, so I hope I'm doing it right. <laughs> All the way? No, no, just up to his head. Don't cut it off. This is how we stone crab in Florida. And now, drop the knife in the boat. Don't drop because when you chip that <laughs> lid open, it's gonna fall out. And then drop them in the trap. In there? Yep. There. <laughs> yeah, latch the trap shut. Let's go find that deep hole again. Yep. We're, we're off it. We're in five feet of water. Okay, we're running up on the edge of this hole again. So as soon as we drop off to the deeper depths and it bubbles off, Rachel's going to throw our trap in. <laughs> push it off. Right here? Sure. Just push it. Yeah, just try not to scrape the boat. All the rope out. There we go. We got one fish in now. All right. Again, we're in a deeper spot, ten foot. So okay. Ready to go? Chunk her in. Okay. <laughs> now we got two fishing. Okay, we're messing with the, we still got some stones left, but we're messing with the blue crab traps too. I got two blue crab traps in the boat. So she's flaying out uh, finger mullet. And of course the blue crab traps, they've got uh, bait chambers in them. So we're going to stuff those bait chambers. We don't have quite enough bait to fill them off of. They're pretty close. Because we're going to leave these for a, uh, what is it, Sunday? We're going to pick them up Wednesday, Sunday, Monday. We're going to leave them for a three-day soak. So... Oh well. <laughs> Crab don't care. I feel like a real fisherman. <laughs> yeah, you can just throw that over, throw it in, do whatever you want with it. Hey, 
How's that? That looks good. Just bring that door shut with them bands up there. Now the trap's laying upside down. The, the bait door's on the bottom side. I, I put put it on the bottom side so the catfish don't try to wiggle her ways in there or stuff. So she's gonna throw it in and flip it over when she throws it in. There it goes. All right, we've got a blue crab fishing now. Let me mark it on the GPS. I gotta hide my numbers so y'all don't see my secret numbers. <laughs> don't want anyone to see There, crab. spot number 18. Wednesday, three-day suck, see what happens. Yay! All right, so you might notice we were jumping around location here. Uh, I wanted to use Rachel to put out the traps and pull the traps for this video. Well, Wednesday came and, and she wasn't around. She wasn't able to get out. And to be honest, the weather was ho totally horrible. And then on top of that, a uh, some kind of little freighter sunk inside the inlet up there where my traps were and put a bunch of diesel fuel into the, into the water not far from my traps. So I ran out Wednesday and I pulled them myself. Uh, got four blue crab and six stone crab out of them. So it didn't do real good, didn't do real bad. But the blues were sort of dirty, had barnacles and stuff. So I grabbed the traps up out of there and moved them. And... Now here it is, the, the weekend, and uh, just got off the phone with Rachel. She's available to go out and, and, and pull the traps. So I'm fixing, I'm in the, I just jumped in the truck. I'm about to head out and uh, go meet her and go get those traps. So you'll see the location's a little different and, and the bait's a little different in the pots and, and stuff like that. But uh, follow along. We'll go get uh, the traps out of the water, see how we do today. Rachel's going to try to catch our buoy as we go by. I'm going to pull it in the boat, hopefully. I've never done this before, so don't make fun of me. <laughs> and then I'll pull it in the boat, because I'm not sure what this one is. This could be a stone crab trap, if it is. They weigh 30 pounds, and they have cement on the bottom of them. Got it? Yeah. All righty. So we're going to come back here? Yep. Oops, wet the camera. Got a hold of it? Does it feel heavy? Okay. I got an extra knot in my rope. <laughs> yeah, this is a stone, this is a stone crab trap here. Go by the way, I got blue crab traps out here too. Smells horrible.
So it's going to be a heavy one. Got it? Don't don't jump out of the boat for it. Did I go by it too fast? I'm in neutral. It'll pop out. Okay. Right, here, I'll back up to it. Uh, this is number 37, so it's going to be a blue. You can probably pick that one up. Okay. Oh. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing but trap. Dead gummit. Shoot. Oh, somebody's been in it. Oh. Okay, this is the problem with trapping. I suspect either I forgot to latch the door shut, which isn't very likely. Or somebody got in it. So my door's left open, so I don't know. I'm gonna blame the poor fishing on somebody getting in my traps. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> and we got the Mac Daddy. Of yeah! All crabs in here, I think. Yes! <laughs> we got one! We got one. Let's see if he has claws. He may not have claws. Getting, getting this late into the season. I'm trying to find my trap. There he is. Okay. Oh, yeah. We got one. I'm nice. going to get the camera down. Now, the question is... Got one crab. Now here in Florida, by state law, they got to be two and three quarter inch on the on the fixed thumb over there, which I think both those are. And you're allowed to take two. However, it says right in the rules they frown upon it because they can regenerate a claw so so much faster if they've got one good claw left to eat with instead of taking both. So we can take them both, but I, I don't want to. I'm just going to take the one big one. I don't even need to measure it. Uh, this is your measuring tool. The big size for measuring lobster, it's three inch. The small size for measuring stone crab claws, it's uh, two and three quarter. I, I've done enough of these guys that I don't even need to measure them. I can see he's big enough. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to take his claw. Unless you want to try. Does yeah. Rachel want to I've try? I've never seen that happen before. Okay. I'll let her film me and uh, I'll pull his claw off. I'm going to spin the boat around so. Uh, no, I'm going to leave the boat where it is. Here, I was trying to get the light right. I need to find my gloves. There's one. There's the other. Now, these guys are actually kind of slow. So, I'm just going to reach my hands down there, and I'm going to grab a hold of each claw. From behind. like so. And this is how I want to hold them. That claw may not be big enough, I don't know, but I'm going to leave him with it so he can eat and defend himself better. Now, all you want to do is put it on something. You can just actually twist it off, but you want to go straight down with it and give it a clean break. The cleaner the break, the, the faster they grow back, the, the healthier the crab stays. So I usually use the edge of the trap, put them right on it, and then just go straight down, break it off, and then he goes back out to grow another one. But that's a healthy claw. Here, we'll show you how you measure them. You measure them on this fixed thumb right here, two and three quarter inches. That guy's probably uh, three and three quarter inch, so he's a good inch over what he needs to be. So, got one. <laughs> nice. Alright. Don't 
going to box this trap up. I'm going to remember where I put this one because I'm going to set them back out here later. Okay. Guess you guys will be eating crab tonight, having to share one claw, but. <laughs> wow. That's beautiful. Yeah. Now, when you cook these, get your water to a rolling boil, drop it in for eight minutes, right on the button. And then you pull it out and have a bucket, a, a pot of ice right there, ice water. And uh, what it's going to do, it's going to start cooking. The heat's going to get to the middle. It's going to cook it all. And then you drop it in that ice water.